Good afternoon, everybody. Anna here. Today in this video, I'm going to show you um, some jewelry that I picked up at one of my favorite thrift stores. I visited one of them on Thursday, and these are the items I picked up. And I have an item that I purchased from Gina Gay at her Buy It Now sale that I'm going to show as well. Uh, before I get started, let me um, say welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel, and welcome back to those who have already been subscribed. I really appreciate all of you, and I hope you'll can stay subscribed and stick around and view my videos, and hopefully you like them. Um, let me make a quick announcement. I am going to be joining um, the lovely Dawn once again on her channel, Hudson Vintage, on Friday, January the 7th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. That's 7 p.m. Eastern Time. <laughs> Sound like I topped up on that. Um, she's going to finish the blinging in the new year part two where she had uh, in part one She had sold a number of fabulous items from um, a friend mail that she received So some of these items may show at my auction on Monday and some of these may appear at Dawn's auction on Friday just wanted to make a quick note that um, Her prices have been starting extremely low um, but Mine, I can't start them as low. I mean, on those items, she's starting them low because it was a friend of mine and so forth. And, you know, to give back to the customers, um, that type of thing to subscribers. But mine will be starting a little higher, even if they're not of, as good of quality of jewelry. I have to do that because I've purchased them. I will not be selling any friend mail jewelry. It'll all be items that I purchased myself. Just wanted to get that out there. I also wanted to make a quick amount announcement before I get started. That starting Monday, that's this auction. Anything, anybody who purchases an item $75 or higher off of me will receive free shipping. That would be, if you're in, within the United States, it would be completely free if it's under one pound. If it goes over a pound, which sometimes it does, believe it or not, um, I may have to have you pay a few dollars um, to help. But um, I have lovely, uh, a handful of lovely ladies in Canada um, I will split the difference with you. That's starting Monday. That's an incentive. I wanted to give some sort of incentive to my loyal customers that keep coming back that I appreciate very much. And I tossed around in my head what I thought was a good number. And I think that's fair. As If those of you have ordered from me know uh, there are supplies that you have to purchase with your items. I, I, you know, I use boxes with everything, tissue, paper, bubble wrap, and a bubble. At first class, I use bubble wrap too. Now, it may sound a little bit much, but I do. I wrap it in tissue and bubble wrap. Put it in a box and it goes in a bubble wrap container. So it costs money. So I did toss the number around for in my, where I'm at now in my um, business, what is affordable to me. And that was a good number, $75. I want to, you know, relief take some of the cost off of those who faithfully come back to me. Um, I really appreciate everybody. Those those who do and do not come to the auctions and buy, it doesn't matter to me if you just show up to say hello. I appreciate that. I appreciate the friendship, the encouragement, everything I received on it. But let me get started on this. I have to show this. Um, oh, I will offer anything. When I'm at Dawn's too, 75 or over, it's free shipping. This is absolutely beautiful. Uh, this is the one I got from Gina Gay. It's 800 silver lava rock, and this is faceted um, red glass, and I really, really love it. So excited. I'm going to stop moving it. I don't want to get yelled at. Um, I've been wanting a cameo. It wasn't per se like the type that what was in the middle, um, but she is. It's very pretty, and I love the red stones. And this is um, at least 100 years old. Oh, that's not. Um, be very careful with this one. I love it. This will stay in my collection for me. I do collect. I know I sell almost everything I buy, I say, but I, I do collect as well. This is a Monet choker. Silver tone. It's nice. It's in great shape. And it is vintage. Um, I'm not going to like get the date or anything right now because I have to look at the hallmark and look at those and so the maker's mark and so forth to be able to tell. But it's small. That, and it has a J-hook. So when I look at that, I'm thinking, okay, very small J-hook, 50s or something, but I can't say that for certain. It's nice, so it has that, like, look, like a brushed gold, I'm not brushed, brushed sterling, it's not gold, it's not sterling, it's silver tone. But it looks like brushed sterling, like, 
sorry, Silvertone Keller, not Sterling. <clears throat> I thought this was very nice. Oh, wait, let me show these, okay. I found Givenchy, if I'm pronouncing that right. It's a hard word. These are Givenchy <laughs> earrings. What is that? Like, oh, the back of my phone. See that? Look up. They're very nice. Um, nice hearts. Okay. I found those. These will show up at one of the auctions. I, I will offer these. I don't know when. Um, but I will save them for auction or online sale. These um, little earrings, I just sewed a pair that were pink sapphire. These are actually glass, but they look pretty similar to that. It's a martini. They're sterling, and that is just green glass. These, I can't read the, make, the marking on them. I don't feel like I'm showing these well. Let me take, these are the Givenchy. Lovely. Um, these were a lucky find for me. They were in the counter. Hidden, kind of, but, you know, I look at absolutely everything. I take, I just, when I'm there, I'm, I'm looking in the counter for, like, at least 40 minutes. I know I drive them nuts, but I have a girl that waits on me. It's pretty nice. Those are nice. Those were my best find, I'd say, um, on Thursday. And these are sterling in green glass, fast, like a piece of glass in there these are a pink ice i think they say gold 14k or something i cannot read it but that's a pink ice it does not test past glass um it's something i don't know exactly what's in there probably a crystal or something yeah and i can't read what's on them i have to look but, but look at them they look like um they're lever backs they look like gold And they're well made. See how the placement of the um, stone and the way it's structured. It just looks like it's gold. But it could be gold filled. I cannot read what it says on there. I will figure it out though. I thought the, and then like these, like I just said, I thought the, they're not, I thought they're going to be peridot, but they're not. They're, um, they're just glass, but they're cute. All right, let me move on. Um, this, this is nice. This is a. It's a bracelet, obviously. It has a, yeah, it's a box clasp and has a safety chain on it. And it's an average size, I think. It's so hard to look through the camera. I'm looking through a phone. I'm using a phone to film this and it's a small one. My wrist is pretty small. Well, it's not real small. It's like a six. Um, it's average I think six and a quarter or something I really don't know what it is I mean it's definitely smaller though but this is maybe a little smaller than normal like a two and a quarter I don't know but it's pretty cool let me hold it still sorry for the I know I move a lot if people like yell at me <laughs> I'm joking um it's nice it's a nice bracelet looks plated on the inside as well. Um, this is a cameo too. Nothing is fat anywhere near as fabulous as the one I got from Gina Gay. Uh, let me show you the little gifter she. Yeah, we're um we're kind of we're kind of I, I Gina I consider Gina my friend. I don't say that about everybody. <laughs> I'm joking. I consider everybody my friend, but I um Gina I've we have contact off and on. Um, but she she sent me these with that purchase and they're fabulous they're little amber scatter birches i guess they call them when there's more than one like this um they're adorable and i didn't mean that i consider a lot of people my friend i was just kidding my sense of humor sometimes gets me into trouble people and understand it this is a a definitely a pure costume um let me see it has a um lobster claw but it's still nice look it almost looks like camper glass i Oh, actually, I gotta look at this closer. Um, but these little pieces—it's—it's it's nice. It's a little cameo. That does look like camper glass, kind of. Um, I'll look at it closer. There's some faux coins on it. Um, like my lighting's off or something. It's pretty. There's that. I found myself a Japan necklace. I get all excited about these. I know a lot of people don't. I think they're 
really beautiful. Um, they do a combination of glass, plastic, and metal in their not so expensive necklaces. Um, they're always on the wall very cheap. I know they're not worth much, but I, I have a large collection of them and I actually keep them. And they're, I think they're very pretty. I have some really fabulous ones that look like they're high end that could be high end uh, costume. But I like it. That'll go to my bull. I have nearly 50 probably. This is copper. Kind of looks like an artisan piece. Um, has a fold over clasp. It is copper. It's unmarked as far as I could see. I will look again. It's nice. Try not to move too fast, but I don't want to move too fast here. I want to an hour video with showing. This is nice, okay. This is one of those seed bead necklaces. Um, and this is kind of like a big monster one. Look how it's made. It's nice. Um, oh, I have a matching pair of earrings for these, I think. Oh, no, I'm wrong. Okay. It's nice. It's a nice thick. It's like graduated in size. You know what I mean? It gets bigger on the bottom. And it could be three different sizes, hair to wear. Somebody spent a long time making that. So the black seed bead necklace. Let me pull this. I don't know who this maker is. If anybody knows, I'd appreciate they tell me. Okay, this feels quality to me. Um, It's not Chanel. When you look at it initially, you might think it is. I didn't even notice. I knew it was a J and a C. <laughs> when I Googled, it's bringing up Chanel. This is not, right? I mean, that is a J and then a C. I don't know who it is. I'd like to know. It's very nice weight, and it's uh, it's well made. I could tell by the feel of it um, that it's a quality piece of jewelry and, you know, the look and the feel of the way it's constructed. It's it's well made, completely unfaded, but I don't know. I don't know who that is. I'd appreciate help if anybody sees this. Any of you that know um, this maker, please let me know. I do not see any kind of tag on it, just DJ and the C, like that, interlocked. And it's, um. It feels like something good. And it's the same store I found the Givenchy earrings and so who knows, it might be something good. This Hallmark, this here, this is Crown Trafari, I believe. Now I'm questioning myself on this. Wait, it's a spring ring clasp. This is a little choker. This is vintage, I would think. Um, I mean, it is vintage looking. There's that. Is that? That is Trafari, right, ladies watching this? Or is that, is there another brand called Tahari, and is that their maker's mark? I think Tahari's modern costume jewelry. I have to read into it more. I'd seen somebody had posted a Tahari necklace in the Hudson Vintage. I'm part of that community. And that's what makes me think, okay, is this, I didn't see a mark like this on it, but I'd seen, okay, this is going back to me in my memory on Mercari, somebody had called the jewelry Tahari, and I was like, oh, they must have meant Trafari and made a mistake, but it had this tag, so now I'm a little conflicted. This is a small choker. I would assume this is vintage. It's very small. It's barely 15 inches, probably. I didn't measure it, but let me show it again. See that? Fame any knows. Another question from Anna, right? I always get a question from me. I like to know I like to know what I'm looking at. Um, this is nice too. Feels very quality. It's unmarked. It's a J hook. It's vintage. Look, these links. Yeah, it's well made. Um, and it's lovely piece on here as well. I can't find a marking and continue to look. These are fully pronged, clear rhinestones. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I think there's the back. It's like a double piece there with yeah i thought it was nice i picked that up it's unmarked um i don't know enough to know it does that mean something i know sometimes like the pieces on the end will identify the jewelry but i doubt it it's just a hang piece but it's pretty i've got let me show this i think this is um i don't like this prop here i did buy myself a few new ones I don't like the wooden one. 
I bought that when I was at the store because I was desperate um, up at the Michaels where I purchased them. I needed something. This is Sterling Findings on the end. And very smooth, light glass. And this, what, I don't know. This feels... It has a little bit of a rough texture. I, I don't even, I mean, that's not sea glass, right? It's clear. Is there a clear sea glass? Another question for me, all right? I'll figure that out myself, but if anybody knows, let me know. I'm learning as I'm going, and I've been learning a lot. It has shell on it, and I don't really, it has this piece of shell. Honestly, I would rip that shell off, I'm going to tell you what, because I like the glass, and I'd wear it like that, and I'm contemplating doing that. Unless I sell it. I may try to sell it. I, I'm not saying I don't like the shell. Um, but what attracted me to it was the Sterling Findings hair. I like that. The hook. And then the glass is what I put. And the shell's okay in there, too. The little pieces. But I, And then I saw this on it, and I was like, okay, I'll still get it. But... That's actually a nice piece of mother of pearl. Yeah, I'd probably just sell it like that. Um, okay, sorry. It's nice. I think it's nice. I really like this one, too. I don't know. I didn't test that to see if it's sterling, but look at this, how pretty this is. Let me show it to you. It's really lovely. Purple. It's got a lot of different colors going on there. I'm going to double it up just to show it. I think it's pretty. All right. Lovely. I found some a little bit of Pandora, too. This is on a... These are, you know, Sterling marked Pandora 925. Murano type glass and um this is sterling as well all of this there's the hang tag pandora and it's on a leather cord and it, it's black I shouldn't use it there we go cute nice and i have the bracelet a bracelet they're different colored but pandora again sterling and leather i probably sell these together when I auction them or whatever. Um, yeah. Two Pandoras. I love this. This is for me. You know, I collect this West Germany. Unless I have duplicates, I'll give a duplicate up. But this is um a merman. <laughs> King Triton, maybe? It's pretty cool. Mark's West Germany back there. And I've never seen one like this, so... This will go into my little collection. I think he's pretty fabulous. Let me show him close up. Look at him. A merman. It is. There he is. Yeah, I really like it. So I've never seen one before. Um, I thought this was cute, too. Look. Um, this is an ankle bracelet. I have people ask me about ankle bracelets from time to time. And you see it's glass, seed bead. Um, I think that's sterling. I'll test it to make sure. And it has this little, like, art glass piece there. It's cute. That is an ankle bracelet. It's actually labeled as such. And this is a bracelet. I don't know if it's sterling findings. I think I see a marking and it kind of looks like it. Um, <laughs> please an A. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, excuse it, because you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's pretty cool, actually. It's very nice. I have a nice cloisonne cross necklace, too, on sterling, but it's blue. I thought that was cute. What else do I have? This glass bead necklace, it's long. I'll probably keep this. It's red, and it is glass. I could triple this up. Well, I'll probably double it, maybe triple it. It's pretty long, look. that it's pretty i like it um it'll go into my you know 
jewelry because I like the red. Um, I thought it was nice. These are Crown Trafari. These are pretty nice too. They have rhinestones in the center, gold toner, and great shape. They are marked Crown Trafari back there. And this earring thing is really a mess, but it still does the job right there. I thought it was nice. Find them. Um, I like this. I'm very attracted to these necklaces, and I know they're cheap. I mean, cheap, not cheap. They're they're handmade, and they're always like ninety nine cents on a wall. But I think it's fabulous. Look, this is handmade. It looks like Hong Kong type of jewelry, and I do keep Hong Kong some of it too. Some of it's rather lovely. Um, for all handmade, you know, I appreciate it. I think that's lovely. It'll go to my bowl. My bowl of plastic jewelry. I'm going to keep, um, he is not amber. There is a home, there's a marking on this. Let me try it. I'm going to pull it away for a minute. Emgent. I use this. How do you like that? Nice stone magnifying glass. Fabulous, isn't it? I love it. Um, car stone. But yeah, he's pretty cute. Oh. All right. Um, I found a little... These are more stone earrings. Remember I found that I had all those stones in that bag? There's more. There's like five pairs here. Of amethyst. Um, these look like sea glass. There's white. I don't know what that is. Stones. Just... Sorry. They're, I'm not going to show those that long. I don't think they're exciting. Um, but they're nice. This here is Kenneth J. Lane, not for Avon, just Kenneth J. Lane. Convertible earrings. Um, they're magnetic. It's kind of like the Joan Rivers I just sold to somebody not long ago. But these are Kenneth J. Lane by Kenneth J. Lane. And they're nice. This is gold toned metal. And there's a magnifying glass piece on her. So you have five options on these. And they're still in a the box. They actually had a paper clip under it too to remove them. Unmarked costume. This is more modern. But I thought it was lovely, and it has a bale under there. Like, it could be hung off a necklace. It's pretty. That would look pretty on, on black velvet or something, I think. Or anything black. I think it was pretty. I don't find a whole lot of brooches out in the wild anymore. I get lots when I, you know, go on Goodwill and try to get a lot or something. Monet tree. I had two gold tone ones around Christmas that I sold to a customer. And I found the silver tone one. I couldn't just leave it there. I had to pick it up, especially for the price that I paid. I found a ring that has a very lovely saying on it. I mean, I like it. I may keep this. It says, our echoes roll from soul to soul and grow forever and ever. And there's somebody's Tennyson. I guess that's the poet on it. And it fits me. I may keep it. I like the saying on it. It's a nice chunk of sterling. It's pretty heavy. It feels like it's like nine grams. It's my guess. Let's see how if, if Anna's uh, getting good at her weights. I have an insane like thing with measurements, people's heights, anything they tell me. I just got to see if I can guess the gram by just feeling it. No, I was way off. It's 13. Heavy though, <laughs> right? Nice chunky. I mean, I, when I, my cleaning company, I'd be able to walk through somebody's house and tell them the square footage, and I was off within like 150 or 100, which is pretty impressive, honestly. But I'm not there with the grams. I may never be. Nice, though. I like it. Found some ladybugs. This is a napier. This is going to be added to my little napier box I'm collecting back there. Let me show you what I have so far. I'm just to show you. I'm going to be reading the book when Eva will go back to her father's and I will have more time on my hands. I'm collecting up. Um, I have sold some, um, but I've been collecting for most part. So he will go into the Napier box. It's signed down there for the little diamond, like crystal. It's adorable. It's Napier. I'm suspecting that's a little older. By the way, it's made. And um, this is a Napier as well. Oh, it's just so adorable. Look at that. <laughs> Green eyes. Oh my gosh, so cute. Oops, sorry. 
That'll get on my box as well. And then I, there's like, somebody must have had a little ladybug collection. There's this little one. It's not marked. It's cute, though. And this one's lovely. Adorable. Cute. Unmarked. Another little ladybug. whole bunch of ladybugs. I'll probably do a lot of these and just offers, like, get my bugs together and offer a little lot during the auction or put these in Thrifty Thursday. Cute. Another ladybug. These earrings here are... These are Trafari. I like them. I like the com the way they um, they uh, look abstract and they're layered. If you know what I mean, like go up and and they're nice. Um, I need to pull out the Trafari book and look. I have a collection back there in Monet. I know I look in a Monet book all the time, but Trafari's book is online. But they do have book pieces in there. Um, and it'll come out of paper eventually, I'm thinking. But I did read that book, and I did learn a lot from it, so it was a good book. This is Chico's. And it's well-made. Um, we know that Chico's can be a well-made product. I mean, for cheap, this is nice and heavy, and this feels quality. In my in my hands doesn't have that dirty feeling you know some of the jewelry it's magnetic overly it just feels gross to me um this is very nice for chicos <clears throat> these are freshwater pearls and turquoise i believe i i have to look at it closer i don't struggle with turquoise when it's obvious any longer i'm getting better at that the big chunks i can definitely tell but sometimes these smaller pieces i really have to look at them but it's nice and I think this is Sterling Findings up here. Freshwater Pearls. Somebody just put this together. Um, still nice little chunk. And Purple Pearls. Talk about, this is cool, I think. Sterling Findings up at the end. And they're nice. I like the color. A lilac like pearls one last thing oh, i'm going to show a couple other things too and show something and <clears throat> that little thing sitting back there is adorable um this is very lovely not very i mean this is something um it's it's plastic chain very long this can be doubled up or you can wear it long and i like the cross on it i like the rhinestones in there they're nice pure costume but still nice so probably make it to Thrifty Thursday. I am keeping inventory for the most part, unless you're somebody that has a collection piece and you contact me like after the videos and I'd sell, but I like to keep my inventory up. Let me show you, well, let me show you this little fella back here. I have that sheet back there because there's a hole in here. This is a computer desk, like a desk for a workplace and it bothers me. That's why that lovely towel's back there. Isn't this adorable? It's a little hand carved, um, there's a king sitting up there, and I forget what he's called, but he navigates the elephant. This is, like, carved out of a piece of wood. And I didn't, um, take the plastic off yet. This was gifted to me by my friend. It was bought in India. It's adorable. I like it. So, actually, it goes back here on one of my stands. I'm building my last stand. I finally got the screws, and I'm going to rearrange. But I picked these up at the thrift store. And they're cool. <clears throat> they're candles under hair. I may need to clean them a little bit, but see, it's a, a candle. You put a candle in there, and then this is the top. These are glass seed beads, and you know I love red, if you know me, right? Those who are new, you'll hear about my red. I love red. Now, I do like the color of red. I think it's fabulous. Um, Some of them are a little hanging, but very nice for what I paid for them. I really like them. So that's what I have. Again, um, I will be... I will put a tray up. I don't know if I'm going to do um, the preview for my um, auction video like I normally do, but I will have a prop set up um, like I just had here, and the items will be displayed that I'm going to sell. You know, it'll be in my community center saying I'm having an auction on Monday um, or maybe underneath um, StreamYard. I don't know. I'm working on how I'm going to do that type of thing. Like, I do the StreamYard with announcing I'm having an auction and then I do the, um, I don't know, sorry. I'm, I'm like in thought here of how I'm going to handle it. Yeah, 
due to StreamYard and then I end up putting something in the community. I don't know how they mingle there. I don't even know where the StreamYard shows up on my thing. I never get much of a response from it. I get a better response in the community page of my, um, I noticed, you know, I've been playing around a little bit to see how the response is in each area. And when I put a StreamYard one up, it's barely any type of like, um, Nobody notices, it seems like, but when I put something in my community page, it's more noticed, so I'm thinking I'm going to work around there, and I may actually decrease my StreamYard down a little bit because I can do the same thing on YouTube. I do have to use StreamYard because I have Thelma who joins me every other week. She has been, so I will keep StreamYard, but I may lessen the membership on it because I could do everything right on YouTube um, now. But yeah, so there will be a tray or a, maybe a short video. i got to think about it. I feel like spitting too many videos out are kind of useless sometimes. Um, not useless, you know what I mean? Like the, uh, the auction preview. I could do the same thing by just putting a nice picture up with it displayed lovely, you know, looking good, and you can look and see what it is. Um, it's kind of the same thing instead of wasting people's time with my previews. But um, what was I saying? There's a thought. Oh, I will have a tray up with what I'm uh, going, or a display with what I'm bringing to Dawn's as well on Friday. I'm picking some items out, and I'm looking forward to that, um, being there with, with her and seeing some of the other items that she has to offer because the first time it was, like, astounding. That's what I'm saying. I may not have the same quality of items as her, um, and it may seem like, oh, why is her starting higher? But as I said, I the items I'm bringing I have to pay for I paid for so that's you know how you do that um but I will bring some good things to Dawn's um hard to keep up there though <laughs> I mean it's I I anybody I think would have trouble keeping up with the items that she had available there okay all right guys that's it I will be I have a jewelry bag that I picked up to thrift too I will be opening that and I will post that another day early next week and um Today is Saturday. My auction is Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern time here on my channel. And I believe Thelma's going to join me. i got to check and see if she's available. If not, it'll be me <clears throat> trying to stay organized. Um, I'm getting better. You know, I'm a work in progress. Those of you who have been watching me from the beginning know that. I've improved a lot, and I'll continue to do so. And I hope you'll stick around to see it. Thank you.